A carriage attendant's emotional address to passengers trapped for more than 10 hours on a train in China after mudslides blocked the tracks has gone viral on mainland social media. The train was traveling from Inner Mongolia in northern China to Beijing on July 30 when mudslides caused by recent heavy rain blocked the tracks and stranded the 976 passengers in the suburban Mentugu district of the capital. The Yangtze Daily reported. Extreme weather has killed 11 people in the Beijing region alone, with 27 others missing after flash flooding caused damage to roads and infrastructure. Do you have questions about the biggest topics and trends from around the world? Get the answers with SCMP Knowledge, our new platform of curated content with explainers, FAQs, analyses and infographics brought to you by our award-winning team. The Mentugu district where the mudslides occurred had the highest rainfall in the city, with 470 mm falling between July 29th and August 1st. The passengers, which included a group of 44 primary and secondary school students and 24 train attendants, became increasingly anxious after being trapped for more than 10 hours with little food or water. It was at this point that attendant Xiao Yang was filmed advising passengers in strained voice that staff would be distributing food and water. She also pleaded with people not to swarm and cause a stampede. Our train service principle is people and life first. Just now, I got off the train and saw at least two mudslides near us. My colleagues walked 700 to 800 meters to bring back supplies like instant noodles and water for passengers. Zhao said in the video, which was filmed by a passenger. Please do not flock and crowd together, even if you don't get food immediately. The food will be provided to each of you for free. After you fetch the food, please return to your seats. Let's avoid any danger. You got it. Some passengers could be heard agreeing to her requests. I am a woman, and I am also a kid in my family. But dress in this uniform, I must not let you down, said Chao. The video of Zhao's impassioned speech has garnered about 3 million likes on Douyin so far, with many people saying they were moved by her efforts to comfort passengers. This is a natural disaster. You don't need to cry, we understand your job is not easy, one person said. She is so afraid of a human disaster, so she repeated the instruction not to crowd. This suggests that many people on the train were in a bad mood. This attendant tried very hard to placate them. Good job, girl, another person said. One online observer said she was reduced to tears watching the video and praised Xiao. She is afraid in her heart. But she must look calm to comfort passengers because of her uniform. Maybe in private, she would be crying and missing her parents. But in this moment, she is a tranquilizer for passengers.